to my channel. My name is Blair if you're new here and today we're gonna do a bake with me. Um, we're gonna make a somewhat easy cream cheese pound cake and um, I will as always have the recipe in the description box below for you but I'm gonna show you the ingredients after we preheat the oven. I'll have the exact measurements down below, but I have flour, sugar, eggs, butter, and cream cheese. Now these three have been sitting out for a while. You want to kind of get them to room temperature. We have some salt, baking powder, and um, vanilla. Uh, yeah, vanilla. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get out uh, the pan that you're going to cook it in. A bun pan is best, and then a cooling rack. And then we're going to go ahead and grease the pan. Now the recipe calls to use butter or shortening. I'm pretty sure I've always done it with olive oil when I've made it in the past. And then you kind of like shake some sugar in it to kind of coat it. Um, that way it gives it like a crispier, sweet glaze on the outside. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Result should kind of look like this, a little sugary. So for the first step, you want to mix together the butter and the cream cheese till it's smooth. After each of these steps, you also want to make sure you scrape the edges of the bowl down into it before you turn the mixture on again. And then once that's smooth, you'll go ahead and add in your sugar. Once you've added the sugar in, you want to make sure that you kind of cream it for about three to five minutes. That way it gets really light and fluffy, and then you'll scrape the bowl down again. And then you'll turn your mixer on low, beat in the eggs, vanilla extract, baking powder, and salt. Now once this is added in, you'll start adding in the flour little scoops at a time um, until it's completely mixed. You don't want to over mix it, so just do a little bit at a time and once you see it's all combined, stop. And then to fill the bun pan up, you're just gonna go ahead and scoop the batter um, into it in like plops. You don't wanna just pour it in because it won't get as even and it is a very thick mixture. And then from here, you'll go ahead and bake it.
while we wait for that to cook because it does take a very long time I just thought I would share that this recipe is definitely like a fan favorite I used to make it all the time especially when I worked in the office um, because I live by myself that's a lot of food <laughs> but I haven't made it in probably six years so I really wanted to make it again and um, but in the past I would make it all the time and then take a bunch of it to the office and everybody just loved it and they would eat it and that way I didn't waste a lot of it and I could bake um, so I just thought I'd share that but I'll show you when we pull it out of the oven what it looks like and, and then we let it cool before I can try it Now when you go to check it at the 80 minute mark or hour and 20 minute mark, you want to be able to insert a toothpick as far as you can down into it and as long as it comes out clean, then you know that it is cooked all the way through and you don't have to put it back in the oven. But the recipe does say it could take up to an hour and a half depending on your oven. And then once it's done, you'll set it out to cool in the pan for approximately 15 minutes or so and then you want to dump it out of the pan to allow it to cool the rest of the way. Once it's completely cooled, you can slice it and enjoy. So that was another Bake With Me cream cheese pound cake and smells very yummy and it tastes good I'm sure mm -hmm. it's almost got like a crunchy layer on the outside and as you get into it, it's real spongy and dense in the center perfect goes great with coffee So I hope you enjoyed getting to see another bake with me and I hope everybody has a blessed day.